Unrest has broken out in Kenya, where authorities had been bracing for a fresh round of protests. This after over a dozen people were killed in violent demonstrations last week. The opposition in Kenya is calling for three days of protests against the government of William Ruto, calling it illegitimate and blaming it for the cost of living crisis. For more on this story, here's our correspondent Bastia Hunui reporting. Opposition leaders were calling their supporters to demonstrate at noon this Wednesday. And I can tell you that in several parts of Kenya, including here in Nairobi, uh, people have taken to the streets way earlier than that, including here in the slum of uh, Matare. It's one of the main opposition slums here in the capital of Kenya. And youth have been engaging the police since early this morning. They're throwing rocks at the police uh, and glass bottles. And uh, the police is shooting tear gas and live bullets at these people, and even at least four live ammunition. I've seen uh, one man uh, injured. Uh, his foot was broken and he had a very deep cut on the leg. One civilian. Uh, uh, he was taken away by an ambulance from Médecins Sans Frontières. And at least two other people have been arrested during uh, these events here in uh, Nairobi. Uh, the same situation occurs in several parts of the capital and in several other cities. Uh, the police said yesterday that it was a question of uh, national security, that they will uh, allow peaceful demonstrations but they will uh, stop uh, violent demonstrations. And as you can see behind me, well, the police, it's trying to do so at the moment.